what is up creators so on my last video about the zve 10 drummed up a lot of questions concerns and even dms that i've gotten about who is the zve 10 for who is this camera right for who should buy it and maybe who should not i think if you are new to sony if you've never owned a sony camera body that even though that this is not a camera that is the bees knees hall of fame the best and you know innovation all over the place like i don't think that this is this camera i do think that this camera is right for somebody that hasn't owned a sony camera before is trying to get into mirrorless maybe they're upgrading even from one of the older uh, cameras that may have been on some other brand and they're really really wanting to choose between maybe the zv1 or the a6100 or a6400 to be honest with you this stuff right now is not new all of the grumblings all of the frustrations and even some of how sony is kind of starting to brand it they had an announcement that was going to come out a couple weeks ago in july but now they were like oh it's delayed usually due to this global chip shortage same with the a7 4 but we've seen this before if you've been around for a while when the a64 came out and was announced in february of 2019 nobody was happy about it sony a6400 not what we expected because i've been waiting and waiting and waiting for details on the sony a7s3 and the sony a7000 but i just i just don't understand this one i mean this one now I don't uh... Everybody was grumbling, complaining, this isn't what we want, it's missing this, the battery life, and on and on. Fast forward, some of all of those people that were saying something about it bought it, tried it, loved it, and used it for a time before upgrading to the next and latest greatest thing. Now we're seeing this happen again with the ZV-E10 that's about to drop that kind of is an upgrade and upgrade, I use that term loosely, and is a mix between the ZV-1 features and the A7C and a little bit of the A6600 as well. And we also have the A7 IV that has rumors that are starting to circulate but will probably get delayed as well. However, I think the Z the ZV E10 is going to be a much better offering than the A6400 because there are a couple things that we've not seen before in the Sony lineup of cameras uh, just anywhere where that is the digital stabilization that we have access to in the, the ZV-1 coupled with something like your 10 to 18 lens that has the optical steady shot built in or that OSS on the lens. So being able to take a lens like this, this 10 to 18, the vloggers lens that everybody loves because it can get super wide and couple that with the digital stabilization from the active or even the standard, which is a little less stable. And then all, and also having access to the Sony Catalyst browse system so that it has like the gyro information or what have you. All of that stuff was already in the ZV-1. So I think it's a good chance we're going to see that in this E10. And so I'm looking at coupling that with something like the 10 to 18 and really getting probably some of the best Sony stabilization that we've had. Because to be honest, it's not that great with the sensors like on the A6600 or A6500 even. Like the, it's there and it's helpful, it's not the best. And I think coupling that with the digital stabilization and the OSS will be good. You're also gonna probably see eye autofocus in video, product showcase mode, the beauty mode, the bokeh button. The one big problem that a lot of people are complaining about is the battery life. So I ran some battery tests just to see from the FW50 batteries, as well as the ZV-1, as well as my A6600. And let's go for at about an hour, what kind of a battery life difference are we looking at? So if you're doing 1080p on the ZV-1 at about an hour, five minutes, you're seeing at about 50% of that battery life is gone. On the A6100 at an hour, you're looking at 53%. On the A6600, you're looking at something equivalent to 79%. At this next mark is where you're seeing the most significant difference in the battery life. On the ZV-1, we're looking at the battery limit is completely exhausted. So it literally is turning off at this point. On the A6100, we're looking at 15 percent of the battery life remains and on the a6600 64 percent of the battery life is still remaining so the reason why i'm comparing all three of these batteries because this zve 10 is kind of a mix between all three and i think it makes sense to look at what kind of performance comparative to the other ones are we looking at they're pretty much almost performing pretty close to almost neck and neck that 15 percent goes by really really quickly on that fw50 battery and at that point you're popping it out switching it out anyway but the saving grace with any of the sony cameras is going to be that internal usb charging so until you've actively used one of these cameras then the battery life complaints you start to see how that kind of trades off. I would love to see the Z battery added to this camera. I just don't think we're going to see that. 
But if you are really, really, really wanting to get that next level, the, the probably one of the better cameras that Sony has to offer, save the A7S III or A1, it's probably gonna be the A7 IV. We don't have a ton of rumors that have come out for that just yet, but it's probably gonna have 4K 60, unlimited recording. It may have that s tone and some other things, and it is gonna be a full frame camera. But if you love APS-C cameras like me, then you probably don't mind some of these shortcomings because it's not something that maybe you actively use or that you would use a ton. And sometimes a lot of us own multiple camera bodies, so you can get something else that actually does have it that you want. But let me know, is the ZV-E10 a camera that is gonna be right for you? Is it gonna check off some of the boxes of what you need across some of these models, or is it still gonna be falling flat and pretty depressing and disappointing to you? So let me know. I'm Like I said, I'm looking forward to it, but I wanna hear your thoughts.